Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ace Wolf and welcome back to my brand new video in the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you guys can make an Ito smelter in Minecraft Battle Condition using Command Lock. And the reason I wanted to make this creation is because, you know, it's a really cool creation and it's really helpful for you guys uh, who, who loves to play survival because it helps a lot when you want to mine some blocks and it just automatically smelts like for example iron ore immediately turned out become an iron ingot without you even smelting them in a furnace so yeah it's a really cool creation and yeah before we start this video guys could you guys do me a favor by going down this video to slap a like in this video and also subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and um yeah without further ado let's just jump right straight into it so first of all what do you guys want to do is to grab yourself a command block and if you have your command block then what you guys want to do is to place one command block like so then what you guys want to do is to place an iron ingot or maybe gold uh gold ingot or i don't know whatever you want this creation to be is it for iron ore smelter or maybe a gold smelter i don't know it's up to you so if you have your iron ingot or gold ingot on top of this command look then what you guys want to top here is structure uh save name of the structure you can name it anything you want but let's call it iron and um tilde tilde one uh tilde 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 one tilde space true uh disk false then you guys have to change this block type to repeat and always active and i'll get out of the command block and if you see the chat spamming like this it means you did this correctly then uh, after that what you guys want to do is to break the command block and after the next step what you guys want to do is to place three command blocks like so all the are facing the same way which is upward or maybe sideways it's up to you but for the first command what you guys want to type here is test for at e bracket type equals item uh, comma name equals quote raw space iron then none of this and close bracket and change the block type to repeat and always active so the reason i'm using raw iron here because every time you uh, break this iron ore in the new update now they will drop a raw iron and because you want to change this raw iron into um this iron ingot so that's why i'm using raw iron in it and if you guys want to make a uh, auto smelter for a gold it means you need to use a raw gold for the command of this one so yeah and now for the next one what you guys want to type here is execute at e bracket type equals item comma name equals the same thing again raw iron close bracket three tildes structure load iron three tildes and now change the block type to chain conditional and always active and now for this one what you guys want to type is kill at e type equals item comma name equals same raw iron or raw gold if you're using gold and close bracket and change the block type to chain conditional and always active and that should be all the commands so so now if you try this let's place a bunch of iron ore go to game mode zero and let's break this and as you guys can see the iron ore will immediately turn into an iron ingot so that's really cool and also as you guys can see there is like a bunch of text appearing after you break the block and now to get rid of that what you guys want to type is slash game rule command block output to false hit enter now if i try again it won't appear and it works <laughs> and you can make another one of this for the gold or maybe a chopper or anything you want and now if we try this for gold as you guys can see and iron it works properly yeah that's a really cool creation isn't it so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like in this video and also subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already so that's all for me and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out